So I've never played Punishing Grey Raven, but I have grown in love with the soundtrack. So here we've got, what is it, In In My Memory? I think it is, yeah, In My Memory. This was very highly requested by all the viewers on the other Punishing Grey Raven videos. If you haven't seen any of those yet, be sure to check them out on the channel. Super easy to find. So In My Memory, this is, I think this is the newest release that I've listened to. It came out a handful of months ago. So far, most of what I've listened to are considered like the classics of the game. And based on how people talk about this song, this is shaping up to become one of the classics. And you know, we got Ghost Final involved, so it's gonna go absolutely ridiculous. Ooh. That's a heavy hit right here you've got that you know that like harp sound it's synthetic it's not organic or acoustic all right all right yeah before before we move into that next section with the drawn out strings let's talk about the harp essentially right now the harp is laying down your percussion for the song it's giving us the count right one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight right so we're getting eighth notes on that harp as it's kind of going up and down the scale right and so what that does is that gives us the little bit of percussive backbone that we need in certain songs like this you know not all songs need a percussive backbone but generally speaking i'm going to make an early prediction that this song's going to get really intense at some point because that seems to be every pgr song that's not a complaint by the way that is not a complaint um but what that does they're using a different instrument outside of percussion to give us that kind of backbone, to kind of set the pace, literally, by giving us the tempo, giving us a count. And so what you can do when you do that is you only really need one item in the composition to give you that rhythm. And once you do that, it opens up the instrumentation elsewhere to do basically whatever you want it to do. Um, we can already hear, you know, got a little preview coming up. We've got some swelling, droning strings that come in, and it sounds like they're really uh, drawing out, or they're gonna draw out the like the kick and the snare hits to put in the actual drum kit here. So let's listen to that. Yeah. And it, it creates an interesting dynamic where rather than just having, you know, like the hi-hats on the drum kit hitting that. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On just the hi-hats, that would sound a, a little bland. But by using a non-percussive instrument to do that, you can do other things with the actual percussion and the rest of the instrumentation present in the song. Oh. Okay. Here comes the synthesizer. We're, oh brother, we're arpeggiating. It's starting to sound like PGR now. And effectively, uh, before it builds up, sorry to interrupt the build up there. Effectively what happened here is they switched off the, um, the harp for this arpeggiated synthesizer. I don't know that they're playing the exact same thing because I'm not a real musician, but as far as the pattern, <laughs> pattern, pattern that they're hitting, it's damn near the same thing and effectively just giving us like an eight count over the rest of the music. The way it just kind of carries right over to the synthesizer now because of the way it's arpeggiating it's going to sound a little little bit different because it kind of like waves in and out as opposed to the individual distinct hits on the harp is this the super intense part because it kind of sounds like it's going to be if i had to predict i think we're actually going to get a drop after this Oh, and it's a nasty ass drop. So this is very, I, given big cyberpunk 2077 vibes here, right? Because um, this is like dark, dirty, synthetic, electronic music. And again, they're carrying over literally the exact same technique. They had the harp, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it switched into that like little bit cleaner, wavy, arpeggiated synthesizer. And now it's in this deep, dirty synth, which is effectively acting as both the count and the percussion and the bass line here. And so you're not having to add in again. You're not having to use just generic 
hi-hats to get that count. You're tying in other instrumentation to do it for you. It's super smart, and I love it when people do this. And you literally can never go wrong with four on the floor kick drum. Oh my gosh. So we have some hi-hats in here now. And I think it sounds like the hi-hats are just hitting the fours. They're not doing eighth notes. All right. So that last fill up led us into a drop. We're building again here. And, and I, I almost want to say we're going to go big after this, but I can kind of see it just being another drop. Ooh, vocals. Let's go. Maybe not. If there's vocals building in here, they might just go big. Like real big with those vocals. PGR compositions have a certain pattern to them. Yep! The vocals aren't there. Oh. Nasty. So this is like that first drop after the first buildup, but now rather than going all the way down, they just went heavy and all in on it. Not a lot of dynamic, they're just full volume. Hear those hits in there? That's really all they've added. Yeah. Or that, you know, I should say that's all that they've added like in this section, you know. It starts out with just that like now they went from like a synth wave arpeggiated baseline to just that nasty pure dubstep right and then we're gonna hit phase two of this section we're gonna get those little boom 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 right and in a sense that almost opens it up a little bit because it's not like dark and deep and it's not in there constantly you know, you know, it's not filling up the entire count from a percussion perspective, at least. Is that a tempo change? I'm not sure. It kind of felt like a tempo change. It was certainly a mood change, that's for sure. Yeah, so now the harp is back with the synthesizer. I think they're playing different things than what they were playing earlier in the song. Vocals are back again. We can hear a little bit of drum building in the background. We'll see how big the build goes. At this point, I, it's safe to say we're gonna have a very big moment in the song with those vocals in here. Oh my God. Oh, that was unexpected. And it's amazing. Bro, I hear like accordion in there just droning in the background. Oh, round two. Wow. How sick is this? I really thought we were going to get a big section with vocals. I'm not going to lie. Woo. Harmonizing. So this is effectively, they're walking us down from that last section. Lyrics are back, or vocals are back. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be a nasty ass build right here. Oh my goodness. I don't think we've peaked yet. I don't think we're done. Round two. Is this round two? This is a build. This is another build. 
This could be the peak. If this isn't, the peak's coming afterwards, but this might be it. Still building. Still building. You got the horns coming in, giving a lot of tension to the build. Oh my God. <laughs> this song has caught me off guard repeatedly. Just when I thought I cracked the Punishing Grey Raven soundtrack code, I thought I could predict them. Nope. Hey, we did get a big section with vocals though. Just not at any point when I expected it. Whoa! So that was in my memory from Punishing Grey Raven. Man, these songs, every time, they just slap so damn hard. And you know, and I'm not gonna lie, I still think there, there's a certain formula to the Punishing Grey Raven soundtrack, or at least, you know, like these main attraction songs that they release. They follow a similar pattern fairly often, but honestly, that one, I thought I had it figured out. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was locked in. I was like, oh yeah, we know what's coming next. It's PGR, and it just loop after loop they threw me through and I didn't even know what to expect by the time we got to the end. That was so much fun. That's why I love these PGR songs. Man, just having a blast listening to these. As always, leave comments. Let me know what other songs we should listen to. As someone who's never played the game myself, literally the only way I'm picking what songs to do next are based on your suggestions. So keep them coming. I'm having a blast doing these. Like the video if you want to see more PGR songs. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video. Love the games. Love yourself. And I love you. Bye.